Hi everyone! I'm Ada and this is Abigail and we're the creators of Dev and Think for Historians and we're here to chat about Dev and Think 3 mm -hmm. which is really really exciting. Yeah. So Abigail, yes. I know that you spent a lot of time using Dev and Think 3. You were a long time Dev and Think Pro Office user yes. um, and I wanted to share with everyone your top three new features. There's lots of new yeah. stuff. Yeah. So. So can I first say yes. that I loved Devon Think Pro Office, oh my and gosh. when I heard about the upgrade, I was a little nervous because we've mm. all had that experience of yes. the software getting updated really. and feeling uh, crap. Yeah, it's worse than it's yeah, <laughs> they buggy. They took away features you liked. Yes. That is not the case here. I want to just like come right out the gate saying <laughs> that I'm really, really happy with Devon yes. Think Three um, and Think. Uh, it is well worth um, the money that I paid to upgrade, and I Good investment. yeah, and I yeah, um, yeah I, I just am really excited to to talk about to it. Share it. it. <laughs> yeah. Let's get to it. Let's get to yeah. it. So I know we've prepared. You have a list of three favorite features yes. in the new Devon Think Three. What is your first favorite feature? Okay, so my first favorite feature is actually the feature that. Um, instigated the redesign and, and this update to mm -hmm. Devon Think 3, which is um, the uh, ability to see all of your information in a single uh, window or, or viewing yeah. pane, yes, right? Yes, yes. Um, so whereas before I would often have um, in the main view mm -hmm. would have my, my document, but I, I would have to have a separate window open with my annotations. Yeah. Um, or if I was working with two documents, I would have to have them open as two windows. You can still have two windows if you're if, an if enjoyer you're... of multiple windows. Yeah. Um, and I'll confess that I never really minded it. And, um, thought, ah, what's the big deal? Wow. Like, I, I'll just keep using my windows. I am converted. Ah, um, you've seen the light. I've seen the light. <laughs> have so, one view. Right. So one of the very cool things um, that now exists in Devon Think 3 is that there is an annotation pane in the inspector mm. field, yeah. uh, which is the... The right, the right sidebar. <laughs> uh, I'll figure it out eventually. Oh, I'm the same way. Like, it's, I, I definitely have to yeah, look. It's a goal sure. for my 40s. Good, good, good. Um, so I, um, I can have my document open in the large center pane, yes. and then be taking my annotations right into um, the annotation win like Amazing. not window. What is it? The box. Yeah, in the yeah, box. The little box um, in the sidebar that. Um, isn't always, you know, when you have a, a lot to say, yes. um, you can open that as a separate window. Um, but there are times when you need to see like, oh, this document was authored by this person. It's from this date. And now you don't have to toggle back and forth between, Excellent. yeah, between them. So uh, I, I am ranking this number one number because it's one? the thing that I didn't expect to be wowed by, yeah, and um, I have I have seen the light. You've seen the light, so yeah. it saves you a lot of time, yeah, a lot of energy, a lot of going yeah. back and forth. Right, that's exactly. fantastic. So everything in one view. Yeah, number one update, very cool. So what's your second? Okay, my second is called the sorter. The sorter. Uh, this it uh, lives in the top menu bar. Okay, um, the the same place where in any program you're using on your Mac, there's file, edit, data, yeah. you know, those those um, navigation um, drop downs. For sure. And so this is, you know, more towards the right side with your battery and your clock and the other app. Um, yes. Like doohickeys that um, <laughs> Very exist. technical term, doohickeys. Yeah, doohickeys. Yep. <laughs> yes. Mm. Ada is the... <laughs> I like it. Yeah. And Hickey is the one we're going to use from now Okay, on. yeah, perfect. Um, what happens when you click on this uh, doohickey, doohickey. Yes, right. is that um, it opens a, a little window, and there are several different options. You can take a note, um, yeah. put in tags, direct it to a certain uh, group in your database, all without entering into your uh, your Dev and Think 3 window, your, your into, into your database. So say you're working 
you know, um, you're on a phone call or something right. and you uh, just want to jot something down um, and put yourself even a reminder, come back to this later, ah. you can do it. You can also take video, audio, right from the... Um, Right from this doohickey, uh. yeah. <laughs> and um, but my my favorite part is it is um, now the easiest way in Safari to um, do a clip from a the web. Clip from the web. Excellent. Um, so you can clip from the web. You can also do a drag and sc- like a screen capture. It, it also um, I should say one of the other choices is a, a screenshot feature. So um, you can also um, when you're not on the web if you're just wanting to capture something on your screen yeah it'll get right into your database wow um but the clip to web um you can either like grab the whole web page say an article yes um or you can just save a url or um you know just a piece of of the web page so that's amazing i am finding it so convenient and fast and have, have really enjoyed um uh, this new tool. Yes, I can imagine not having to have it Devin think open and be yeah. able to pull things directly into it would be a huge time saver. Yeah. And there are just so many different features within the sorter. It's not just like, oh, it does one thing. It right. does. It's dynamic. You can Tens also, of things. Yeah, yes. I, I forgot this. Oh, I mean, yeah. It, you Tell can us also more. kind of get a bird's eye view of your database inside of it. Nice. So it'll show you your, your hierarchy, your schema, and all of your groups. And you can kind of um, drag things in. around and modify yeah, them so. that's amazing mm-hmm. included in Devon think three i love yeah. that so we've gone over the first which is everything in one view just introduced the doohickey aka the sorter now what's the third one so the third is yeah. the concordance inspector concordance so this one might be a little bit geeky or, or geeky. particular okay. to, we embrace it yeah particular to <laughs> me and my my research interests but um, the concordance inspector uh, is located in that inspector panel on the right, okay. the same place where you're, you'll find like the basic information okay. about your your document, your um, annotations. annotations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So one of these new options is the uh, concordance inspector. Okay. So say you have a, uh, a newspaper article, okay, and you're wondering. Um, what words are really commonly used? Let's say you're just trying to get a sense for like the tone of this article. Okay. Um, if it's about um, a, a controversy, are they using sort of charged language? Well, you can open up the concordance order, and okay. what it is, is it's, it's pulled out every single word in the document and sort of ranked it by number of occurrences. Interesting. So if you're seeing things like tension, violence, rising to the top of this list and being yes. mentioned over and over, that gives you some information. For, for what's in there. Right. Yeah. And, and sort of the tenor of the conversation um, at the moment that this article was written. So as a, as a historian, that's really of interest to me, right? What if you're looking um, at something from... Uh, let's say the 18... Uh, the draft riots in New York in the 1860s. Okay. And you see that there's a lot about the Irish. Well, you know that the Irish were probably a really big part of ah, what was going on interesting. in this event. Yeah. Uh, historians do already know that. Um, <laughs> I should, should say, this is not a revelation. Um, but it was uh, just an example that came to mind. Sure. Something you could really... Um, yeah, you could use to learn uh, about the subject you're studying. Yeah, to give you some insights mm-hmm. on the documents that you're that you're finding in mm-hmm. addition to the tags that you may have added or how you've yeah. decided to organize it. Right. So that is right. very exciting. It shows things that you might not have known to search. Right, right, right. It's, right. Um, it, 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 we have our own sort of, and when I say bias, I don't, I don't necessarily mean prejudicial bias, right? right? We just all have perceptions and worldviews that shape uh, the questions we ask and the way that we think. And so if you have this, um, this feature that will surface insight to the top, regardless of what you had thought to ask, right? Or well, it presents a new, yeah, it presents a new question for you sometimes, for sure, a for new sure. insight. So I am so jazzed <laughs> to, um, <laughs> to to play with that as I continue to uh, accumulate more documents into my uh, I, database. 
It's not singular. Uh, databases. databases. Multiple yeah. databases. Yeah. I understand. I understand. So we are done with Devon Think Pro Office. You are fully converted into Devon Think 3. I have drunk the Kool Aid. Yeah. I am actually, <laughs> however, I am actually still using Pro Office. I'm <gasps> running. I think if De- if Devon Technologies heard this, they'd be like, "No, don't do that." But I I am running them concurrently, and so I run a couple of databases in one, and a couple of databases in the other, and I'll switch them between them to like. Oh wow! Yeah, well, that's a, I think in some ways another feature. Maybe that's a fourth bonus feature that. I don't yeah. know if that's a sanctioned benefit, uh, yeah. but uh, but it might be a benefit that yeah. you know right. you can really take some time now. Yeah. Um, and the, the public beta is still going on. No. Uh, oh, it just recently ended. I think yeah. Oh, so okay. you do now, well, have, now to, you have to commit. Yeah, commit. But <laughs> I, I, I hope that this helps you decide whether or not yeah. um, this is uh, you know valuable to you, um, or whether you want to stick with either Devon Think Pro Office or pursue another another tool, tool for sure. But, for sure. Um, if you want like a really, you know, we only talked about three, three. but if you want a really in-depth overview of the new um, features, features and and, there's a long list of yeah. new features. Yeah. Yes. We put in the description bar below uh, a link to Devon Technologies' own um, yes. write-up of, of, of what the, to do yeah. in Devon Think 3, yeah, which so. is really exciting. And if you um, want to learn more about Devon Think and how you can use it, especially if you're um, a historian or a humanist or you work in social sciences mm-hmm. and want to learn more about how you can use this really great tool day-to-day in your research, yeah. then feel free to look up us and our course, uh, Devon Think for Historians, yeah. where we go over uh, the tool in detail and give you some tips and tricks mm-hmm. and insights on how you can make the most of your Devon Think databases for your day-to-day research. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll throw that in the, the down bar below. Yes, in the description well. below as well. Yeah. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully yeah. you learned something new and hopefully you enjoy the, enjoy the information on the links. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you in our next video. Yeah, good luck with your databasing. Yes, best wishes. Bye-bye.